Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Sean of Truth, and I'm back at it with another Throwback Thursday reaction. So, after my last reaction, I said I had another J. Cole. And this is a song that you probably know, or you might not know, called Be Free. But he had a special verse that he put down on Letterman Show that wasn't on the original song. Few people know about it when I say it's one of the coldest, most deepest verses. But I don't want to hold you off too much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show love. Follow me on IG. And when I say it's going to be a great journey, be one of the first one to be here with me. For real. You will not regret it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Very popular rapper whose new album is in stores this week. It's entitled 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Hey, wait a minute. That's my house. My eyes. <laughs> that part is always playing. Always playing to me, though. My bad. Let me move this ad from me. Okay, cool, cool. Bad. Yeah. Let's go, though. Please, Please welcome, welcome back, back Jay Cole, Cole, everybody. Your main Cole. The real is back. But this is how you know he about to spit some cold. He got this the hoodie on, hands in the pockets, like throwback before the dreads, cold, like whew. You know this about to be crazy. Let's go. Even the way he looking back, like he know he about to, cause he know this is one time he, he didn't even put out another song, like a little version. And this is really the only time he spoke this verse. He didn't put no extra version out to kind of sell or whatever. He know that was special. My bad, I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm just getting too hyped for this. I'm too hyped for it. <laughs> I don't know about that now. There's a few drinks out there. But it's crazy how, it's crazy how he said the x ray to see right through my smile. He had a song called Cricket Smile. So, you know. But let's keep going to the next song. Let's go. I mean, next. My bad. I'm gone. I'm, I'm tired. I'm just waking up. It's early in the morning. Thursday, throwback Thursday. Let's get. Let's go. Let's get it. All we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off. Yeah. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off you. That's how you know this is a fire. Like you see the smoke coming down on him, like the mist trying to cool him down because he's he about to let it go. Let's go though. I don't want to hold y'all up too much, but when I say this verse is gonna be like it's deep, think about it. That's fire too. Let's go. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is can you tell me why? When I say this song will be so impactful, so strong, just based off what's going on right now and what's going on earlier, like every time I step out, I see my people die. Like, ain't no gun that can know my soul. No. Let's keep going though. Let's keep going. All we want to do is break the chains off, yeah. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free. It's crazy how they talking about they take the chains off. And they kind of symbol rappers wearing chains as us being like locked, like rappers being locked down and tied into a system. 
can't think about that. Let's keep going though. All we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free. This is how I know whenever I heard that humming. You know when the church choir thought it thought humming, you know they about to come with some. No, it's about to be real. You know it. But let's keep going though. Oh, yeah. Forget this shame, cause this ain't me. I to speak some real. I wanted to pause it before he started speaking that real. I just want to let y'all know it's about to get crazy. I'm bringing back so y'all can get the full experience of it. Yeah. Forget this shame, cause this ain't me. Though I'm eternally grateful to Jay Z. We're so elated, we celebrated like Obama waited until his last day in office to tell the nation brothers is getting their reparations. Woo! I didn't mean cut off between his verse, but he's saying turning grateful to Jay-Z because you know how he got his his first, got his signing was with Jay-Z. That was from him like telling him like play my music, here's my tape. Basically, not really begging, but enthusiastic and striving and trying to put himself out there but let's keep going though this ain't me though i'm eternally grateful to jay-z mm -hmm. so elated we celebrated like obama waited until his last day in office to tell the nation brothers is getting their reparations hey. hey a man can dream can he no disrespect in terms of change i haven't seen any Maybe he had good intentions, but was stifled by the system and was sad to learn he actually couldn't bring any. Ooh. Oh, mm, mm, mm. and I keep telling my friends, I keep telling everybody that when they say Obama didn't do nothing, it's because he couldn't. The word is controlled by the system, controlled by Congress, controlled by so many different people. It is crazy. People think once you get a black president or a president in office, they can do this, this, and that. But once you have a rule you want to change or set in place, you got to put that through the House of Representatives and Congress and have to be voted on. If they don't like it, then it ain't going through. That's how it is. That's, it's, um, it's so crazy, man. He was so happy we got an off, but, but so sad he actually couldn't bring it. Like, imagine you find him in the first black president. And they say, okay, cool, you this and you that, but you're not changing nothing at all that we got going on. That is, that's crazy, man. You ever see an old picture of Obama when he first got an office to where he left? He looked drained. He looks tired. He's probably what is off day and night. But let's, 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 go, let's go back into it. Let's go back a little bit. A man can dream, can he? No disrespect in terms of change. I haven't seen any. Maybe he had good intentions, but was stifled by the system and was sad to learn he actually couldn't bring any. That's what I get for thinking. This world is fair. They let a brother steer the ship and never told him that the ship was sinking. But I got other to think about, like my bank account. Let the brother steer the ship and never told him that the ship was sinking. And one, that's another thing I, I always say. I'm like, when everybody, when everybody always praised Trump, what he did and what he's doing like numbers wise community wise i'm like that was low key you know you can't prove it but those are low key obama's numbers he basically brought us from the hole and brought us out of wherever we was at and then everything you're seeing now is a reflection of what he did so when trump came into office he came too with a clean house but when obama when obama got in there the house was like dirty he had to clean everything up from the ground up a small thing he could do was get us out of the small, like the. But um, let's keep going though. I don't want to tuck our head off. It's some deep stuff, for real. Forget that watch you pay too much for. Me. You ought to be ashamed. When brothers back home be dreaded when the seasons change, cause they ain't got no heat. 
And they ain't got no AC Walmart distribution Find my homie, he just had a baby <clears throat> You wonder why it's been so many B&Es lately While brothers from the hood shooting like this is TNT lately He speaks on real Cause imagine like, like how days come up or anything come up And you about to have a baby, you working your you working your head off like you doing overtime and everything and while my fire you about to have a baby now like the whole nine months you really get the money saving the money up and everything buying this this and that buying the house buying the car they fire you before like so they, they got the whole car payment the whole house payment with no income your wife is pregnant for nine months so she don't have a job and y'all just looking crazy like <sighs> let's keep it going though and they ain't got no AC Walmart distribution for my homie just had a baby. You wonder why it's been so many B&Es lately? While brothers from the hood shooting like this is TNT lately. And since all the ballers leaving college early, I turn on the TV and don't see no brothers with degrees lately. That's some real stuff though. Back then, I would say more like Hall of Fame athletes even finished school. Like even even Shannon Sharp mentioned it was like. I'm not sure if you're finished school or not, but he mentioned one of his inter um, one of his interviews on um, Undisputed. He was like, since I'm here, I might as well get my degree. Like, might as well. So the fact that he's saying, I'm seeing more college, more like NBA athletes come in like one year and out, but I'm not seeing brothers with degrees. Like lawyers, I'm saying, just from different jobs, not just trying to be basketball players, but just more empowering for our community for everything going on let's keep on going i want to talk y'all head off let's go let's go are we all alone fighting on our own please give me a chance i don't want to dance something's got me down i will stand my ground don't just stand around don't just stand around You can't tell me that that verse didn't hit different. That verse wasn't on the song, but that verse just hit different. So I'm getting over. Yeah, a little bit left, but I think that's the, kind of like the end of it in a way. But I'm gonna let it play out. But you can't tell me that verse didn't hit different. For real. Let's go. All we wanna do is be free. All we wanna do is be free. He couldn't even say anything. Only thing he was saying, oh my gosh, that's how you know, like, he was speechless. A crowd full of, like, I don't want to be racist, sound racist, but people who, like, haven't really experienced, like, different type of ethnicity in a, in a crowd. And they're clapping, they're applauding, like they just feel it. It's by the way he was singing it with so much soul. Like you can just. Mm. Oh my God, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Fantastic. Great. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. J. Cole, beautiful. Thank Bang. you for being here, sir. Oh. Now this 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Have a great holiday. Come back anytime. We enjoyed that a great deal. The real is back. Whew. All right, all right, cool, cool. That was the re end of the reaction. I might do one more from J. Cole for Throwback Thursday. Then I'm probably going to get into some Lil Wayne. Whew. Now, y'all know Lil Wayne. Back in the day, Lil Wayne ran the rap game. Him, T.I., like, they, like a lot of other rappers, but Lil Wayne ran it from his albums, mixtapes, everything. But right now we're going on J. Cole and J. Cole the Cold World, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's go though. To the next one. Peace. <laughs>